We're back with Genshin Impact. Last time we did a bunch of side quests, I'd say it's high time that we go back to the main quest of finding Devalin. Just as a disclaimer, the audio is a bit off at the beginning, but it gets fixed later on. Well, without further ado, let's jump into it. Hey, I'm back. The rest of you I can't talk to, but I can talk to you, Luke. The Abyss Order. Enemies of the human race. Even the underground networks rarely come across any information on them. With that said, it was a bit of a hassle, but I managed to dig up a few clues. Really? That quickly? You really are well connected, Master G-Luke. Come to think of it, Mr. Big Animal God Barbados, why exactly do you need the help of mere humans? Ooh, good question. Uh, how do I put it? The Seven, as people now know them, were once known as the Seven Archons. Each Archon presides over their own part of Tavat. That is the role the Archons play. Only in performing this duty can we attain power. But I don't like the idea of ruling Mondstadt, and I don't feel Mondstadt would really like it either. Go forth and establish a city of freedom without rule. We have not forgotten Barbados's wish for Mondstadt. A city of freedom without rule. Go forth and establish a city of freedom without rule. Hello? Hold on here. Hold on here, Jean. You say that, but you're literally... Kaya literally arrested people for being adventurers. There are fines for jumping and landing in wrong places. What D Luke has someone who works at, under him as a slave to pay off for one bottle of wine. Uh, hello? Without rule? The Knights of Ammonius is literally a ruling order. I think that you very much have forgotten this. Jean, you're such a devotee. You're not, though. Do you know of Storm Terror's Lit? Lit. I'm not tired of Storm Terror's Lit. I think I've heard of people talking about this in Mondstadt. Of course. I believe the people of Mondstadt all know of it. Oh, I don't. After Devalin woke up, he took the ancient ruins as his lair. Which means we're going to confront Devalin? Fortunately, we have yet to need to go that far. Hmm. By that, you mean... I mean that the Holy Liar is not our trump card. Our real trump card? The Traveler, of course. That's me! The Traveler? Is it because I can fight? Uh. Well, you could say that. You're definitely a force to be reckoned with. Yay! But you have a much more precious forte. Is it because of my long ribbons? The impurities and the tears oh. and the curse that binds Devalin belong to the same Maleficent power. And so, epic actions of brave heroes finally leads to this 11th hour. I think that he was phasing through dimensions as he was saying that, recording that line. Oh, wow. Man, even with the storm, this is so pretty. Oh, and the music, too. Oh. Oh, such a pretty game. So I don't know what to make of that. Uh, goodbye. Bye. Take care. Have a... Bye, have a great time. How are you feeling today, honorary knight? That's me. I am completely prepared and fully confident that we can do this. Mondstadt is a romantic city without the reign of a king. No, it has the SS in charge, though. And its citizens enjoy the most freedom amongst the seven nations. That's horrible. This Teviat is actually a dystopian universe. I hope the dragon that once protected Mondstadt will soon be free, too. All right, well, hopefully the Glaucus Atlanticus will, uh, will be free soon. No all right, let's go. There are two shiny spots on Devalin's back. Glaucus Atlanticus. They appear to be Round two. Blood clots that have coagulated on his wounds. I realize I never said why I call it the Glaucus Atlanticus. The to me, Devalin looks like the Glaucus Atlanticus, uh, sea slug. To save Devalin, we're going to have to get rid of those blood clots. All right. Aim for those blood clots. Aim for the blood. To so save you, we must make you bleed. We're bloodletting right now. Does anyone have any leeches? If we could just throw a couple leeches on there, uh, that'd be great. 
You're trying to shoot me, Devalin? You should know that I'm an ace pilot. I played mini squadron when I was younger. My Gatling gun is all on you. Yeah, lever action rifles for the win. It's a very fast lever, but it's lever action, trust me. Hang what? Oh, Venti? Oh, that's a lot of head damage. I didn't realize that. I was not looking at mine. I've already lost the character and I just started. All right, we damaged it. Good. Official, get up Oz. Amber, set up you. Nope. All right, well, that's that's decent damage. That's decent damage. I won't complain about that damage. All right, you're going to make a pass. Oh, actually, I don't know what this is. What is this? Hello? That's a nuke? Why do you have a nuke attack? I need to be to someone else. Amber, you're a tank. Devon is dead. We killed him. <gasps> we did it. Hey, you. You're finally awake. Got caught trying to cross the border. Storm Terror threat was quelled. I clarified the misunderstanding to the citizens of Mondstadt and let them know that they are safe. To them, it seems Storm Terror attacked Mondstadt out of nowhere and then vanished just as quickly. They must be finding the whole ordeal very confusing. However, winds change their course. Someday, they will blow towards a brighter future. Well, there we go. We have defeated Dvalin. Glaucus Atlanticus Maximus is no longer a threat. Yep, we're back from tussling with Dvalin. You just you were there. yesterday, right? Jean got back first, and she told us all about your heroic deeds. Amber, you were the one doing it. I don't know why you're like, wow, you must be a hero. You, it was you and Fischl did most of the work. And Noelle, Lorena was dead the whole time. She died off the bat. If I'll ever get an opportunity what? Like Hello? This is, what? Hello? Where's... I hate this discussion. This is awful. That doesn't come into it. You guys deserve all the credit for how you resolved this crisis. Amber, stop. I think Amber has short-term memory when loss. It's been one day. That day. I was just doing my duty as an outrider. Hey, Grace. So Storm Terror's true identity is Devalin. One of the Four Winds. We never should have forgotten his past sacrifice for Mondstadt. I, once again, where they're saying this like this is a surprise. This has been established since like day one. That is Devalin. They were just like, oh yeah, well Devalin, Storm Terror. We just call him Storm Terror because he's more terrifying now. And they're like, so it's actually Devalin. This has been established. This isn't new. 
I, I, I don't know how long you've been in the church for, but like, pick up a newspaper or something. Every cloud has a silver lining. We'll go to the... Oh, Battle Pass. What does this do? Once, there was a glorious kingdom established among the heavens. From that kingdom came a crowned heir, tasked with seeking out the Genesis Pearl from the Kingdom of Darkness. The first crowned heir began her journey of seeking the Pearl. But she was deceived, and the memory of her noble origins faded. She now believed that she was the Queen of the Kingdom of Darkness. But take heart. A second crowned heir had already taken up the path where the first had stumbled. This is the story of your journey. Of your tale to be told. Okay. Alright, that's definitely not uh, indicative of any anything relevant to the story, I'm sure. Uh, uh you know. Adventure rank 10, I can do this. <laughs> Barbara is here. Leave the healing to me. I will not disappoint you. Oh, I never even got this. <laughs> I don't remember this quest. <laughs> I don't remember ever meeting Barbara. But I got Barbara! Oh, and the best part is I got now it's a water operator. That's great. <laughs> I'm sure we'll get some nice little goodies. Maybe a new flower to put in my hair. You know how important that is for my combat prowess. <laughs> well, I don't know. Should I go for the iris or the rose today? Well, I don't know. I'm feeling a bit defensive today, so I think I might go for the lilac. Like, like hello? What is this? It's got a giant key and a heart in it. No, that's a cube. <laughs> alright. I, I didn't pass Shapes 101, alright? In my defense. Someday I'll invite Flora to build a dandelion boat that I've built by my own hands. A board, never mind. It's just such a shame my very few my few attempts have all sank on the maiden voyage. Every but every cloud, cloud has a silver, silver lining. My swimming ability has improved greatly as a result. Last time I even had several crabs grab on to my eyelids. But I still managed to swim back to shore, even though I couldn't see. That must hurt so much. Ow! Oh my gosh, this guy needs to see a doctor.